worship you in this place. We thank you, Father. All our glo all the glory, all the honor belongs to your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for coming and destroying the works of the devil, giving us everlasting life. For this reason, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much that you gave your only Son. And as we have believed in you, we know we shall not perish but have everlasting life. Praise you, Lord. Praise you. We give you our glory. We give you our praises, Lord. Hallelujah. With the angels we sing. Glory in the highest. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. We are excited to celebrate the gift, your only son. We are so excited to remember it, Lord, and celebrate that we are serving a God who is alive, who lives in us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's rejoice this morning. We've come to celebrate our risen Savior. Isaiah 9, 6. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called. Shall we say it together? Wonderful, let's say his name is wonderful. wonderful. Counselor, Counselor, the mighty God, mighty God. the everlasting Father. everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Amen. He's the God that we serve. So let's rejoice in him, celebrating our Savior's birth. He came to this earth on a day. We don't know the exact date, but we know that he came and he was born to save us. Born to give us everlasting life. Thank you, Lord. And all of you online, let's celebrate together the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Even as you were maybe watching in your homes or maybe you're out, you're watching this. We pray that the Lord will minister to you and also that you'll get encouraged by these songs. Because the Word of God always fills us up with joy, it gives us strength. And so we pray today that the Lord will speak to you and he will minister to you. Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And more importantly, he loved us. The whole reason he came was because of his love. And he loved you so much that he laid down his life for you. He laid it down as a sacrifice so that you can be risen with him. You can be born again. To be born again means to be born from above. You see, we are born physically in this earth, but that's just our natural birth. But we see how Jesus said, you got to be born again. That means you receive him. That is your new birth. When you come into the family of God, you get born again. And today we pray that you'll celebrate with us. And if you don't know Jesus, today you can pray with us at the end of this worship. And Jesus will come to live inside of you. Amen. Rejoice with us. Lord, we come before your presence and we thank you, Lord, that you are here with us. We know where two or more are gathered in your name. You are here in our midst. And Father, I thank you for manifesting your presence today. You said, Father, that you manifest yourself to those who love you. And Lord, even as you are lifted up, you will draw all men unto you. And I pray for the hurting, for the lost, for those who are broken. Maybe they're searching the meaning of Christmas. Father, I thank you for revealing yourself to them. That they will receive you as Lord and Savior. That they will realize that they don't have to live a life anymore just to go by. But they can have the abundant life that you promised. And we believe for souls this day, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's rejoice in him. For unto us a child is born. Glory in the highest.
Unto us a child is born Unto us a son is given He is the Son of God Yes, He is the Son of the Highest For unto us a child
will never end. That's his kingdom. It's a kingdom that is forever. And the best part is, he also said that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So we never have to think that we're going to be alone in life because he said that he's never going to take his spirit away from us. Even if we miss the mark, we can come to his blood and ask him to wash us white as snow and he will forgive you, restore you back. But he's never going to leave you. That's the best part. So let's continue praising him. We've come to worship him. Let's imagine as, you know, I think the birth of Jesus was a time of great joy. There was no sadness. There was just joy. When, I believe in those angels would have been singing glory in the highest. Just to think about the prophecies that were fulfilled the day that Jesus was born. We see how, you know, in the book of Isaiah and the prophets, they were writing that a Messiah was going to come to this earth. And that day, just think about it, when it was fulfilled, the joy that must have been, even as those angels, they were singing, the Son of God has come to earth to pay that price of redemption. It definitely was a day of joy. And His joy also is in us, which is our strength. Let's continue praising Him. We've come to worship at His feet. Take off. 
worship you. Let's give him our praises. You're worthy, Father. You're worthy of all praise and honor and glory. We rejoice, Father. We celebrate, Father, that we are free. Free from the curse. We are free and we are alive in you, Lord. Hallelujah. We adore you. We adore you. Christ the Lord.
Kerze durch. the Lord he loves you so much he died on a cross he gave up everything that he had in the book of Philippians it says that he humbled himself he made himself of no reputation but he humbled himself and came in the likeness of sinful men the only difference was that he had no sin in him he was in a physical body but he had no sin every person that is born into this world has a sinful nature inside of them and that sin is what causes us to do things that are not right it causes us to just yield to our emotions and our flesh it's because we are born with a sinful nature everyone who is born into this world the only way that sin nature can be removed is by the blood of Jesus and he became sin the scripture talks about how he became sin even though he didn't know any sin but after he became that in exchange he gave you his righteousness so he removes your nature of sin and he puts righteousness on the inside of you and righteousness means right standing with God you see with our sin there is a barrier that separates us from God it's a wall that is between us but the scripture also tells us that by his blood he has removed that wall of sin that separated us the moment you say Jesus I receive you as Lord and Savior he removes that sin nature out of you and he puts righteousness in you and because you have his nature now you want to serve him you want to love him because your nature is different you see even the creatures of this world and the animals they have a nature of their own which is why they behave in a certain way and we had a sinful nature in us but thank God his blood came through when he received his blood when he received him as Lord he removes that and he puts righteousness and maybe of those of you watching us online you don't know Jesus well today he is calling you the Bible says that he stands at the door of our heart and he knocks he truly wants to come into your life He's not a God who is too busy, has no time, or he doesn't care about you. That's not the kind of God that we are serving or we talk about. The God that we serve is a God of love, a shepherd who wants to lead you in life and guide you. And if you want to see a difference in your life, the first thing is receiving Jesus as Lord. You've probably tried to do things in your own strength. Just try to live your own life. And maybe it has got you through, but that can't take you further. That can't, it can't bring you to the place of happiness that you're looking for. The place of joy is knowing Jesus Christ. After you receive him, that's not the end. He gives you his word that you can follow and 
receive guidance for your life and establish you and he will give you he will show you your calling in life he will lead you in the direction and the purpose that you were put for this on this earth so if you're ready to receive him as lord and savior you can pray this prayer with me and all of us here as believers we can pray too and jesus will come and live inside of you he'll put his nature in you so say it after me say lord jesus i believe that you died on the cross for my sins jesus i know that i'm a sinner i repent of all my sin wash me with your blood and cleanse me i invite you to be my lord and my savior i believe that i am now righteous right standing with god no longer am i separated from you thank you lord that you rose again to give me a new life i am now born again i'm now born again in jesus name amen Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you prayed that prayer, Praise Jesus has come to live in you. There's no difficulty for him. He just comes in there, removes your stony heart, and he puts his nature in you. So now it's time to grow in him and hear his word and let faith come into your heart. And he will speak to you. That's the best part about it. That he's going to be a shepherd who will talk personally to you. Amen. Amen. So we believe that you're blessed. Amen. Glory to God.